This is a bond valuation problem, and so in order to solve it, we need to first figure out what the cash flows are, and then we want to find their present value using the yield to maturity as the discount rate. Okay, so first things first, um, we have a bond that has 12 years remaining to maturity and semi-annual coupon payments. And so there are two times 12 equals 24 semi-annual periods remaining. So we're going to draw a semi-annual timeline with 24 periods on it. Now going to the cash flows, um, let's start with the par value of the bond. Par value of the bond is $1,000 and that amount is going to be repaid at maturity. So that's going to be single $1,000 cash flow at time 24. And then we have the coupon payments. So what are the coupon payments? Let's go to the coupon rate. We have 9% coupons. And so that just means 9% of the par value is paid each year and so that's ninety dollars and since coupons are paid semi-annually we're going to take this 90 and split it into two pieces so each semi-annual coupon is 45 dollars. so we can put our 45s on the timeline as well and so we know that the price should be the present value of these cash flows. And we see we have an annuity and a single cash flow. And so we're just going to add the present values together. What discount rate do we use? Well, we need a semi-annual version of the yield to maturity. And so since the yield to maturity is 7.4% per year, uh, we have a discount rate of 3.7% for every six months. So if you want to write this as a formula, we have a 24 in the exponent here for our annuity factor. And then we have the present value of the lump sum payment at maturity. And so we can find the present value there. Alternatively, we can go to a financial calculator. If we go to a financial calculator, um, we're going to use 45 as payment, since it's an annuity, and $1,000 as FV, because FV should be whatever cash flow happens at the end of the timeline, incremental to whatever is covered by the payment. 24 is N, and 3.7 is I. We want to enter the payment and the FV as having the same sign. If you're holding the bond, both of those are inflows to you. And so the PV or the price is going to come out with a negative. All right, so let's enter these one at a time. 1,000 is FV. 45 is payment. 3.7 is I. And 24 is in Cute my PV. I have 1125.81. That is the answer.